Hey, Kyle, yeah. I want a pi I never asked for a picture. She's a legend. She's no, been in two of the best you've movies ever. You've never asked for a, a picture. Never, never have. You and you know what? You want to talk about Back to School. You want to talk about MASH. Two of the biggest movies going. Two of the biggest two movies of the all the time. Yep. But she did a lot of stuff. Sure. Yeah, she was about, fantastic. About 40, yeah, about 40. Thanks for mentioning that. About 46 or eight films. I don't know, you know, in my mm -hmm. life. But you, but know, you like you, signature films, though. Those are Well, signature. I love having a blockbusters. I do, yeah. But I, I need another one. Yeah. And, uh, and once my memory returns... How about the day you met Mankow that you don't remember? We can redo it. Now, the thing is, I do remember the first yes. time. I, the thing is, I yeah. remember the first time I ever saw you, the first time I ever came on the show, and yeah. I thought you were absolutely delightful. Well, and I felt the same way. Yeah. And but apparently so, our, our big date and all of my fantasies, I, I, thought, uh, I actually thought there was some sexual chemistry there before my wife came uh, along uh, and listen, ruined it. The cop yeah, got yeah, 15 know, pictures yes. pasted on but his look, wall. You just you told yeah. that last guy he had sexual, you know, I can't, you know, I would have been thrilled about it, except yeah. that you've told everyone that came in here that you had sexual chemistry. <laughs> no, so, I, mean, I was kidding with you him. you or you don't, yeah. Okay. Oh. You, 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 told, you told me at that breakfast that you don't remember, yeah. uh, you told me you were, you were, uh, about meeting your husband and what what and then there was and the, you told me about therapy and you went you, you remember why did I tell you all that I, because we were we had a great we were hanging out and we were well, hanging I hope out you and told we, me something did you I didn't I listen I you know when I'm around somebody like you I shut up because I want to listen uh, okay you, now no one believes that right no it's true so you you had uh, your your husband is is how much is he he's younger you're fifteen years younger fifteen yeah. years younger and you, we've been married we've been together thirty five years. And you never thought, when you met him, you didn't think any, if I remember correctly, you never thought anything. I thought was, I'd like to have a kiss and a cup of coffee before I married somebody else. Right, know? right. When I heard his age in group yeah. therapy is where I met him, yeah. That's right. And do you recommend therapy? I'm going to need therapy after this. You are, and I recommend <laughs> it for you. I can't speak for the rest of the world, but. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you still do therapy? Do you still, do you need to get a, a, a tweak? Well, I, I had an incredible analyst for, yeah. you know, 30 years. I yeah. think I did group therapy for 10 years and stuff like that. And now I, I you know, I'm always working on myself yeah. and always, uh, you know, trying to grow and keep that memory sharp. <laughs> God almighty. What'd you get the woman thinking now that she lost uh, some of her memory? Look what you did over here. No, yeah, no, I, no. I, I couldn't, I couldn't she, believe. She's got it. She's I got couldn't it. believe what After you were 15 describing. hints? Let me let me ah. let, let me let me explain a little something, okay? Yeah. I I here here Sally. Let me let me explain something, okay? Yes, I had please. a New York I had a New York Times best selling book. I'm not bragging, but I want to tell you something. Okay? This thing came out and mm -hmm. I did every I did every city in America and I toured around for a year and uh, you don't know where the hell you are. Right. Okay? And hey. I'll, ne I'll, ne I'll never forget sitting mm -hmm. in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And I'm sure Sally, uh, you'll you'll have one of these. I hope not, but you know but I had one of these in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where they had gotten the date wrong. Uh -oh. So there I am in a card table in Ann Arbor, Michigan, with maybe a thousand books. The day of a Michigan okay. football game. And 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 the 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 table is wobbly, and I'm sitting there. There's a sign, and one person came. I was there for three hours, and I had to, one person came into the bookstore. One, and the woman walked over. She went, and I'm sitting right there. Right there. She goes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's okay. humiliating. What's that? Was it humiliating? Yeah. No, yeah. but you're absolutely right, honey. I don't know what city I'm in, what I'm, you know, when I'll ever sleep again. It's been, but I have had so much fun. Have you? I have. Yeah, I did. I, I really I, enjoyed I, it. I absolutely hated it. Did I you? hated it. It was. It wasn't worth the the hassle. What hassle this is to go city to city, and then you have and you have to talk about yourself, and, and the idiots have never read the book. Of course, why would they read the book? The yeah. idiots. And no, but what I say, you know, I did this thing for SAG where they do a two-hour interviews and stuff yeah. like that, and then they save it for posterity, and they mm -hmm. send it to colleges and everything like that, and yeah. I walked out to the crowd and said, you know, this is really a hard gig, uh, an actress having to talk about herself, yeah. you know? Uh, <laughs> so I say that to you, you know? Yeah. Uh, me, uh, me, me, when I just read me, the me, Time me, magazine, me, me, me. The, the, new, the new generation, me, 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 when they're going to save yeah. the world. Well, I'm just on the edge of that, you know what I mean? Did you, did you, get, uh, do you, do you get bored? When you were done writing this, were you bored with yourself? I, you, uh, listen, here's the thing. Yeah, yes. I, I had a great time because it's not just about me. It's about all these people I've loved and, yeah. you know, all kinds of different things. Why did you turn down Brando? Was he heavy at the time? Would you shut up? I know he wasn't. Wait. That's the good news. Yeah. No, it was no, not. This, this was Brando at his hottest. Oh. This was young. Well, it was Young Lions time. It was medium weight. 57. <laughs> 1957, Young Lions. Dean Martin, was right? Was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, he was such a hero. I mean, you know, I, I was so young and naive yeah. and really, I mean, I, I don't even know who that girl was, you know. Yeah. But the first time uh, that I, I actually 
this bouncer sat me right down next to him, you know, yeah. and I didn't move, and I strayed straight ahead, two sets of stand gets, then the lights came on, and Brandon, and he was still sitting there, and I never looked to the left or right, and whoever I came with, I said, bye-bye, when he said he was leaving, you know, and just frozen, and I was like 175, 5'10", you know, with a butch blonde haircut, yeah. you know, and uh, he liked oriental women and quiet people, you know, yeah. I'm the biggest talker next to you in the world, and... Uh, and anyway, so when the lights came up, I'm just frozen in time, and he says, uh, so what are you, an actress? And I whirl around on him, I said, no, yes, I am, and it's not funny. And he said, would you like to go for a ride? <laughs> on, on me is what he meant, Yeah, right? yeah. And yeah. I yeah. He said, yes, I would. And so uh, we got in the car, and he went about a fourth of a block, and he reached over to touch my arm, and I pulled away because I was so scared, you know. And he said, right, I wouldn't want to spoil this beautiful friendship. And he, with that, he turned the car around and dropped me off in front of the club. And someone said, you must have been devastated. Oh, it's like I a talk show host, stop a cow. No, no, listen, oh. I, I, you know, I thought, uh, you know, anyway, someone said, you must have been so devastated. Yeah. I said, devastated. I was so thrilled. I rushed to the phone booth as all my best friend. Yeah. But I had many more adventures with Marlon. And, uh, yes. And I always, you know why? I mean, I don't want to give away, you know, because I want him to read the book. Yeah. But. If there, if indeed, if uh, indeed I did ever land in his bed, yeah, uh, and maybe I didn't, uh, what? that all the way, so to speak, I wanted to be special, yeah, and that's why I didn't uh, be with him. I wanted to be special, and I was really special. I, I've he heard, hated me so much. I, I've heard women say that Brando uh, and Elvis, young Elvis, young Brando, were the sexiest men ever. You think that's true? Well, I mean, except I, for me and your husband. Well, you and my husband. <laughs> yeah. See, you she's first, an actress. Yeah. You actress first is and just my husband. And Acting is just lying. I mean, you know. <laughs> okay. Exactly. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Marlon, no. I mean, Elvis, I appreciate and loved, yeah. loved, loved him. But Marlon was everything to me, you know. Is it called Read My Lips because of Hot Lips and MASH? Yeah, I just yeah. decided to give in, you know, yeah. 46 movies later. And I remember still Hot Lips and the series has gone on and... And, I, you know, I'm grateful. You should have been in the series. Was, Sally no, Kellerman. No, 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 no I didn't. Sally, Sally Kellerman is I here. Her uh, best-selling uh, new biography is out. It's called Read My Lips. And, and the, the TV version of, of Hot Lips came into town and mm. caused a lot of trouble over She's Her, her life causes goose liver that we shouldn't eat foie gras. <sighs> and uh, I just, Sally, do you care if, if I enjoyed duck liver or would you rather I didn't? I want you to enjoy anything you. you can in life. Thank you. Know? you. Damn you. Miss Swit. Yeah, Miss Swit coming in here and stirring up all kinds of trouble. I like you a lot more than her now. Of course you do, of man. Course. You have taste. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, Elliot Gould, uh, you know, you're talking about Brando. Elliot, when Elliot Gould's been in here a lot, and we did a charity event. You remember that charity event? And, no, he uh, doesn't remember. Yes, yeah, no, he doesn't. He does remember. And uh, that's that's a but you know just him and his friendship with Groucho and how he would go over every couple of days to shave Groucho and oh, what an yeah. amazing story. Hey, and Groucho you know, pulls up when I'm adopting my old my sister's daughter, and Groucho. All, Groucho. Yeah. Show, At 82, and we we're all waiting for the girl, and my daughter's running around naked, and I'm saying, Claire, get she was 10. Yeah. Get your clothes on. Here they come. And my neighbor Jerry Belson, a comedy writer, and he says, Go home, put a bra on, Sally. The woman's coming. You know, you have to look like a mom. So I rush home, and anyway, and she's running around naked, and and I go, Oh, Claire, get your clothes on right yeah. now. It's important, you know. And I look out the window and say, Oh, here they. Who was that in a limo? Couldn't imagine the state was coming yeah. up in a limo, you know. Right. And out gets at 82, Groucho Marx. Uh, he'd never dropped by the house before. And he was with the girl, who Aaron, who was supposed to have beat him, you know. Yes, yes, controlled him. Yeah. So he walked in and sits down at the piano. And uh, and then suddenly, you know, the woman is arriving. So I rushed out into the yard and I said to the adoption woman, I don't know him, but I do anything to make uh, uh, ha uh, Claire happy, you know. And yeah. so he came in and while we're sitting there, she said, uh, now, Claire, you could call yourself anything you want. You can change your name. And he said, call yourself Sam. And she had already... Call yourself Sam. Sam, and she'd yeah. already decided she wanted her middle name to be Malibu, and so her full name <laughs> is Claire Anderson Malibu Sand uh, Graham Kellerman Crane. Yeah, first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She but, said, but, what's my name? Who, Give it 10 minutes. You know, I mean, we may get uh, Teen Mom Farrah on. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, mean, the stars of today, Did right? he walk in like this? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Out? No, but but, but the, 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 the stars of today, I mean, she, you know, come on, who are these? They're, we don't have stars. No. Groucho like, stops by and plays the piano. I hey, love that. And Marlon drives me around the corner. Marlon tries yeah. to get into your pants. And, and and I waited on Steve McQueen and Warren Beatty. And Jack you, Nicholson was my uh, best pal from acting class. And, wow. 
So, Sally, you know, stars, don't congratulations, ask me. congratulations on the book. Thank you. And, and, um, I, I, I have to set this up by saying, I always say, oh, you look great, and it's a lie. But yeah, no kidding. you actually, I, you, I mean, I don't know, back to school, you look exactly the same. She does. I just watched it again to get ready for this interview because, you know, you have to watch the that. Best. But you have not changed. Oh, man, Cal, if so, I ever forget you again, I'll just <laughs> kick myself. So there's a... There's a, Thank uh, there, you. you have a picture somewhere or something. I you, do. <laughs> you, or, or, or you've cloned yourself and there's another Sally somewhere hidden because... <laughs> Uh, doesn't she look exactly the same? She looks exactly the same. Oh, she looks God. great. You well, look fabulous. You all are so darling. And, 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 and I, and I, hate, I and hate She's it. a legend. What's that? Yes, she's she a is. legend. And I, I hated the, uh, I hated the, uh, most of these romantic uh, leads that, they, you know, these ridiculous romantic, uh, you know, the, the teenagers that would put a Rodney Dangerfield with or any of these comedies, right. right? And their wives are like, or the girlfriends. I actually believe that Sally Kellerman and Rodney Dangerfield... Got along. They, they I, had fun. That actually was a real estate. That was a young Robert Downey on that set, you too, know, back I, in the day. God, is he incredible. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the great oh, Gatsby, probably the mediocre Gatsby, or the sucks Gatsby is what I'm hearing. Uh, $50 million. Oh. But, nice. But, you know, cannot go against Iron Man and Robert Downey Jr. No. And I forgot about that. That's right. He was... He, he was, was in that, it. That was it. That was his start, That was right? his first start, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Yeah, and he was... And Sally, and, and Sally had sex with him. Well, I, you know, I was had to turn down <laughs> Marlon, but Robert, you know... <laughs> oh, God. And, and do you have a connection here? Is there a connection with this town? Was uh, sexuality? No, 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 no. You know, you can you can tell I've one track mind. Is right. do, do you have a favorite? Uh, do you have a favorite uh, memory of of playing here, singing here? Yes, I yeah. do. I sang. Well, first of all, my husband uh, proposed to me here on uh, on uh, Michigan Avenue. Beautiful. I, I nice. was on. A, I was on a. Uh, uh, press junket for foxes a picture i did with jody foster oh god i remember and, that sure yeah and uh and then but but you just reminded me my very first tour and i want to talk about scott yanover who is the reason that this book got written and everything like that he's so amazing and he works right here in your own hometown but anyway the first time more about scott later you know because i'm much too vain uh <laughs> my first tour yeah uh, a music tour i think this was my second gig I, at I, the airport yeah, yeah. at the airport yeah. uh that's where I sang, and I got, I got nodes the first night I sang. I sang so high that I had oh, to call no. the doctor and take steam and shots and everything, and then I was able you know to continue. You, was was it where where was it? Do you know where it was? At the airport. Air, some, you, you sang at the airport. Yeah, that's where it was. What, it was by the right. Delta uh, ticket counter? Where'd you go? Do they have a theater? What do they do? Look, I couldn't remember what? the picnic with Man Cow. I can't remember. What. Oh, okay, <laughs> so she signed at the Standard Club at eleven thirty uh, yep. in just a few hours, and then tonight at the University Club. That's at five o'clock. Nice. She's going to be the Union League tomorrow. So Standard Club today at 11.30. Tomorrow uh, morning, place. she's going to be signing at the uh, Union League at 11.30. Sally Kellerman hanging out. Man Cow. And we take your calls around America at 1-888-2-MAN-COW. I need to stretch myself. We'll be back.